Hi, my name is Andrew Diet. I teach environmental studies here at Kent Hill School in Reedfield, Maine. And this semester, I implemented the Renewable Energy Learning Lab in my main field studies class. It was really accessible for me to implement the curriculum into my classroom because of all the materials. There was a pacing guide, a week-by-week -week guide of what to implement. Each week had lesson plans with student activities, teacher prep materials. There were rubrics provided. Students were active. They were learning through research. They were learning through discussion. They were learning through role-playing and simulation. They were learning through engaging in their community. It met all the goals a school could have, and I think so much more. I'm motivated more now to, to think about my actions and kind of find stuff that I could do back home and stuff that I can help out in the community here at Kent Hill. Before this, I had not really given much thought to any of that. And uh, now that I have gone through um, a semester of this class and have learned a lot through the, the Learning Lab curriculum, I feel that I have more of a voice. You'll do a unit of climate change in a general science class and you won't dive too like deep into it. But with this class, it was definitely better than a regular science class. I think just now me knowing that my voice matters, that I can bring it up to other people, and they can bring it up to other people as well, and just like that domino effect. Students learned about the Paris Agreement. They learned about the goals set by the global community to address climate change in the next 100 years. They learned about specific action levers to address climate change. They learned about different perspectives, using the economic, ecologic, and sociocultural lenses to view environmental issues allowed my students to take a nonpartisan approach. As the semester progressed and as we engaged in conversations and continued to use those three lenses, I felt more and more confident that we could look at all of these issues from these different perspectives. Our action project after taking the class this semester was that we learned more about the heating in our school and all the buildings around us and found out if it was renewable and if it wasn't we tried to work with the school to make it a new more renewable source. I got more involved with the community, I actually did more research, I found out what I could do to make a difference instead of just learning about what other people have done. I think my voice definitely does matter more because especially after speaking to the school about it and seeing that they actually listened and were interested with what I had to say. What gives me hope about the future is that everybody was super engaged and interested the whole semester. They always were excited to do the work and to find out what to do next in the action project. So it shows that especially the younger generation is definitely wanting to make a change and, and is ready to do that. I think the biggest change I've seen in students from the beginning to the end of the course is their ability to identify specific action. I hope to see more teachers implementing the lab and sharing their students' stories so that students can really see what student voices can do.